For our legal update today, I want to talk about a small estate affidavit, or um, some states call it an affidavit of heirship. We also call it here in Arizona as an affidavit of succession to real property, which in Arizona is uh, a probate. Uh, it's just not a an administered probate by the court. Um, but in order for you to um, convey property by affidavit, you actually have to uh, record or not record, file the affidavit first with the probate court. And then the probate registrar reviews it, makes sure that everything's in order, and then they approve it. And then once it's approved, you take the certified copy of the affidavit uh, and record it. And it's the affidavit that actually conveys title of the property to the heirs. So it's basically a streamlined way of moving real estate from the decedent's name to the directly to the heirs. So there's no personal representative, there's no executor that needs to sign anything. It simply goes from the decedent to the heirs. There's not even a deed. Not even a deed. The affidavit is essentially the deed. I mean, it's the document that conveys title to the property. Now, to qualify for uh, the affidavit or to convey uh, property by affidavit, uh, there's a few things that have to be in place. Number one, the uh, total equity value of the property. So it's not the actual um, value itself, but it's the total equity value based upon the Maricopa County, well, I say Maricopa, based upon the county assessor's um, valuation as of the year of death has to be less than a hundred thousand dollars so when you say the county assessed value i don't have to go get an appraiser correct tell me how much my property is worth correct so if you go on to the assessor's website whether it's maricopa pinnell county pima county la paz county you go on to the assessor's website you plug in the address they're going to give you an assessed value of the property normally they give you a uh, historical um, assessed values as well. So you can go and figure out what was assessed in 2016 and 17 and 18 and on forward, you can figure that out. So it's the assessed value as of the, the year of death minus any liens, claims, or encumbrances. So, you know, if the property has an assessed value of $280,000 and it has a $200,000 loan against it, that is a property that you could do an affidavit of succession on because there's only $80,000 in equity. The other requirement is you have to wait six months from the date of death. So if the owner passes away, you can't do anything for six months. And the theory behind that or the, or the reason why the statute provides that is they figure, well, that gives an opportunity for creditors, for other you know, interested parties to come out of the woodwork uh, for a probate to be open. All of that uh, should occur or can occur within that six month period. So it's kind of a waiting period to figure out if anything else is going to happen that would impact the ability to do an affidavit of succession. And then the third thing, uh, there's a few other requirements, but the main other requirement, the third requirement is that there's no probate open, whether here or in Arizona or any other state. Um, so there can't be a probate. If there's a probate open, then that then becomes the, the property becomes property of the estate under the exclusive charge and jurisdiction of the personal representative or executor of that estate. They then have the right to control that property and you can't do an affidavit of succession in, in that instance. So your three main requirements are, you know, the assessed equity, the the equity value based upon the assessed value is a hundred thousand or less. That there's no um, probate open, and that the owner has been deceased for at least six months. Now, <clears throat> where I have seen a mistake on this, that's not the only type of small estate affidavit. Correct. There's others that have different requirements, mainly. When we talk about property, we're talking about real property and personal property, basically. Why don't you explain the difference and why, how some people sometimes might mistake one for the other in terms of timeframes, because there's different requirements, right? Yeah. So for the, the personal property, you don't have the, the six-month timeframe. Um, 
that can be moved uh, by affidavit. Um, basically, you have to wait 30 days, and then that one can be moved by affidavit. Um, and that, the the small state affidavit for personal property does not require um, court approval. So you don't have to go to probate court. So if you have uh, $30,000 in a, in a bank account, then you can use the small estate affidavit for that purpose.